So today we're out back. I am doing the first mod on the TW200. You guys gave me a lot of good advice and uh, some stuff that I'm definitely going to do uh, to the TW in the future. But today, the first thing that I decided to do is replace these tiny little toothpick foot pegs down there. So I've got some crater replacements. Uh, I've actually used these in the past on the KLR 650. When I put those on the bike, I was a little bit nervous since they were so cheap. I think those are 15 bucks. Now these are up to 25. Fast forward to uh, last summer, got hit by a minivan on the KLR and one of the pegs got all smashed up and it actually handled it really uh, pretty well. It definitely gave me a lot more confidence with these. Obviously quite a bit larger. Uh, starts in about the same spot it looks like. Uh, actually comes comes in even a little bit further and then extends uh, a lot more even past the the old one. Is that twice as wide? It, it definitely is. The one problem that I ran into with these on the KLR though is because they're so wide and they're placed essentially in the center of the old peg, you end up losing that much room between your foot peg and your shifter on the other side. And I've actually already got that one installed over here. And I think there's still a little bit of room in here. Uh, I can fit a shoe in there, pretty much no problem. And I go to put on my big former riding boots, so I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. Crater pegs don't come with anything at all. Uh, what you see here is exactly what you get. So we'll be reusing all the hardware from the bike. So a needle nose might be the better option. And the big flat bill here, this is a little bit clumsy. But all we gotta do is bend these tabs up. You are able to spin this around to get better access to the other side. So then this pin will just push out that way. There we are. So we just gotta stick that back in there and bend the little tabs back out. Those definitely look like they're gonna be a heck of a lot more comfortable to stand up on. As we all know, standing up off-road is extremely important, and uh, I think these are definitely gonna make that a lot more sustainable. Those little toothpicks definitely hurt after a while. So I think all that's really left is to put on my big form of boots and take this thing out for a ride and see how they work. So, I ended up doing a lot more testing on these pegs uh, before filming this than I intended to. I actually was editing the first part of this video yesterday and realized that I never actually filmed a, a conclusion to it. So, we're out here doing that today. I have uh, almost nothing but nice things to say about these pegs. Uh, I've done uh, quite a bit of off-road, uh, intense off-road riding on single track with them. I have done uh, a good bit of road riding too actually uh, 55 60 miles an hour on them and that's uh that's where more where my complaint lies with them they i think just because they're uh about twice the surface area of the other ones they're woo! <laughs> They're uh, spread out on your boot more, so you kind of have the the vibration that the TW puts out sort of spread over your foot a bit more. And honestly, I, I don't really know if it's any worse. Uh, I don't know that it's any better either, but it's uh, it just feels different. So I, I guess kind of keep that in mind. It's a, a really very small negative uh, compared to all the positives they get you. They are so much more comfortable to ride on. Woo! They give me a lot more confidence. I have yet to, whoa, that's not good. I've yet to have a, a foot slip off of them. Uh, now I'm in a pickle. Digging a hole. Oops, I hadn't planned on this. I wanna slide into that. I'm not gonna get much traction there. Ooh, exhaust pipe's a little warm. Look at those red mushrooms. Strange. Okay, let's pretend that didn't happen. What was I saying? I'm gonna end up in the same spot. <laughs> uh, 
suppose all the rain doesn't really help the situation. That's usually 10 times easier. Oh my gosh. Anyway, they are super nice to stand on. They give me a heck of a lot more confidence. Then you feel like you have a, a bit more control over the bike. And your feet don't get fatigued nearly as fast as they would with the little toothpicks. I have absolutely no problem getting my foot in there to shift. Fits really well. So again, if you guys are interested, there'll be a link form down in the description. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Stay swanky. Get out and enjoy this beautiful world. Whew. Ah. <sighs>